Okay, welcome back. Turns out we have just enough time to print out one more video today. So we're gonna hop right back in and we're going to try and finish up what we set out to do earlier today. So hello again, everyone. Uh, it's another day in the life of Stacker, the human paladin. Uh, we've got Gortusk Liver to turn in. We need to go find three Murloc eyes and we need to kill 20 Harvest Watchers. Can we do it? So we'll do. We're going to head on over to the, um, the Saldean farm real quick. Turn in the Gortusk Liver Pies. And we will fight a few of the Harvest Watchers that happen to be there. And they're only like one level higher than us. We should be able to handle them fairly easily. But you know me. I'm going to I'm going to try to play as carefully as possible. We don't want to lose the progress on this character. So I was just watching a um a stay safe video. Uh he was in Nomergon and in his infinite wisdom, he and his group decided they wanted to travel down the center area of a tunnel uh, and he ended up uh, losing both his tank and his healer in the process so it's uh it's not a uh, not smart don't think i would have done that i probably would have just you know stayed along the uh, along the edge on the upper level avoid you know nearly wiping the entire group but hey you know what Maybe he was going for something special, I don't know. That, that's on him, not me. <laughs> I guess he wanted to just uh, just go go for a gamble. Sure, I, honestly, I, I can respect that. It's like, it, it, you, you are kind of like gambling anytime that you are deciding to take a uh, group of people into a dungeon. So if like you're not like a hundred percent certain that you're going to be able to complete the dungeon without dying, I'm not so sure that you want to be uh, be in there doing it. <clears throat> and with the nature of of hardcore being that if you die, you delete your character. I would imagine that everyone that is participating in in dungeons at at either max level or just leveling up, they're gonna be like hyper focused and wanting to do everything they can to make sure they don't die. At least I would think so. I mean, if, if I were spending all this time and effort to leveling a character, leveling professions, making sure that I am in top form as I'm leveling, yeah, I sure as hell would want to make sure that my character will survive. Either that or just don't go into a damn dungeon. Oh well. <clears throat> it's not for me to say. I can only control what I can control. Let's see. That looks like the the watchers are being uh being harvested uh, down themselves. I'm not finding a single one out here that hasn't been tagged yet. Our gnolls are completely farmed out as well. Let's go see if the murlocs are farmed out. I think most people tend to stay away from the murlocs if they don't have to. You know the slogan, murlocs, you can never pull just one. Or the Blackmouth School. We might be able to pull a, uh, a uh, trunk out of there. Let's give it a shot. Whenever you see a uh, a whirlpool for fishing, always try, try and uh, try and farm it out in the cave in the off chance that you'll get a um, uh, a chest out of it. 
<clears throat> so the chest can have the, the, the trade materials that you can't get yourself. And sometimes they even have greens, which is very nice. Another lily black mouth. Come on, Bob already. Just black mouse. Nothing special. Alright, let's go find ourselves some, uh, some nice low level murlocs. That's not an eye. Why don't we get some climbing out of it? Some cooking material. Okay, we got a respawn behind us. There we go. There's a murloc eye. Go. There we go. Perfect. We need a healing upgrade. Our heal is not healing for enough anymore. Back here. Got him. Are we supposed to be a good run? Silly boy. Check over this way. Yeah, I think I see some respawns over there. have him. Mitch Connor the Hunter, dead at level 13. That one's yours. You peel it, you tank it. Nice. These guys are putting on some heat. There we go. That's two murlocs. Two murloc eyes, I mean. It's more like six murlocs all together. Murlocs love to just cluster up in these little colonies. It makes it hard to pull them one at a time. We're not going to go any further that way. After this uh, grouping of crabs, is going to be higher level um, murlocs. We want to stick to just this little corner over here.
you there. Would like to fight you. Got him. And there's the third eye. Nice. So we're all done here. Let's go ahead and check out the um, the null bands. Oh, Dirty Bird of the Warlock, dead at 13. Fs in the chat. There's the knoll right there. Let's see if we can grab him. What's funny about the knolls is they the drop rate for their uh, their paws is kind of low, which is really funny because you would think that they would you know have two paws each. You at least have like a 100% drop rate on one of the two paws. Yeah. Let's learn that actually. Let's learn that and let's actually sit down and eat some food. Get ourselves a little food buff. There we go, we're all buffed up. Anybody over here? Nope. Still waiting on respawns there. So let's go a little bit further in. There's another null camp in this way. You might be able to get someone over here. Rick, the Paladin has died at level 13 in Westfall. Getting a lot of Westfall deaths tonight. A whole lot. Okay, here we go. Come here, Mr. Riverpaw Knoll. I'd like to have a word with you. All right, cool. That's uh, that's two for two. That's pretty good. The the re the drop rate is actually being pretty decent today. Infantry boots again. I think that's like the third or fourth infantry boots we've dropped so far. A swivel in this area. Alright, let's go a little bit further in. Let's kill this guy just because he, he'll give experience. I typically will just like run by and just kill whatever will give me experience sometimes. It doesn't take that much um, extra effort or time out of my day. Watch for that guy right there. Level 18. If he catches us, he'll just take us out. Ooh, Copper Vein. Ooh, level 27, dead in Red Ridge. Alright, that thing is coming closer. Oh, but he stopped again. That's good. 
gonna keep an eye on him. Alright, got that. Hello. Would you like to fight? I would like to fight. I'll wager you some bones to gnaw on. Still at just two of eight. Still need six more paws. Can I pull any of these without attracting the others? I don't think so. I think they're just a little bit too close together. So we will just ignore that group there. Oh, what's this? Shit. No, it's more copper. I was hoping it was tin. Nope, got another death. That little uh, bit of copper. Is it inside here? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. It might be one of those bugged uh, deposits that is actually underground. It just shows up on the map. That does happen from time to time. I think that, that druid over there is getting chased by the, the dust devil. It's too bad I don't have any form of like a cleave attack. That'd be pretty nice. Drop already. Fucking 1% hell. Come on now. So the druid, dead level 15 in Darkshore. Well, if anything, this is a good like little coyote meat farm over here. You just die already. Thank you. Pain in the ass. I'll drink some milk as well. And I will drink as well. Okay. Let's try and get back to those, um, those knolls. We need to get some more of their armbands. Goron the Mage. Ooh, level 50. That sucks, dude. Level 50 mage dead. That is not cool. That sucked. That has a lot of time dumped into a character just to die at level 50. Man, that sucks. I would hate to get that far just to have to delete your character. Inventory is full. See a little tent. This could be another uh, Knoll camp. Am 
one over here. I'm thinking this could just be like a respawn waiting to happen right here. What's this? More copper. Ooh. Let's make some distance. It's another dirt devil. See a river paw right over there. Let's try and get him before someone else does. See glowing hands, I stun. <laughs> I don't even know what spell you're trying to cast, but I don't want to let it go off. Right. See, this is what I was talking about with the, the low drop rate. Let's go over this way a little bit. It's making me nervous. There's a null paw. It only took killing like 10 of them to get it. Let's get this guy over here. Anybody else around? No, good. Get back here. No one said you could run. More gnolls over there? No, that's trappers. We don't need those. That's murlocs down there. Oh, what's going on there? You gotta be careful with those camps, man. You don't want to accidentally pull pull the whole team. There we go. Good little face pull action. Rugged leather pants. Too bad I can't learn it. Let's see. Let's get rid of that plucked feather. We could sell it for like a silver or so. Okay, we're at four of eight on the null paws. Let's see, can I pull that one? Without pulling anyone else. Let's try. Nope, it's gonna pull all three. That's what I was afraid of. At least I was able to pull this this one away. Need to reapply my sharpening stone. Gotcha. And a null paw. Very nice. Alright, let's put this on real quick. Looks like that other guy took care of the other two. Cool. Good job, man. Let's kill this guy while we're over here. Waiting for respawns. Oh, I think I see respawns over there. Make some distance. Those are reds. I did some damage. Do 
doing, guy? Don't die, Gondor. There will be no one to answer the call if you die. Let's head back this way. Oh, I think I see Stormwind from here. Oh, it's the silhouette of Stormwind. I see it right over there. But I don't think that's Sentinel Hill. around me. Anybody? No. Good. Ooh, and I see a treasure box. A 14 and a 13. And a bird. Let that bird make some distance. I think we can handle it. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. Alright, heal. Reduce the spirit. That's a non issue right there. <clears throat> Almost got him. One more strike. Oh, come on. There we go. Got him. Give me something good. A shadow wand. That'll go for some silver. Not bad. I would have liked to get like another bag or something, but it'll sell. Still need three more null paws. Could have killed you guys to drop one of your hands for me, huh? <clears throat> for your friends. I'm going to whack you a few times with my stick to shut you up. I'm going to head back this way and try and find some more gnolls. We only need three more paws. That's a corpse of a gnoll. Pulling all three of them. So it's like those bugged out copper veins again. <clears throat> Let's try and wiggle our way around and find some stray gnolls. I don't feel like taking on all three of those guys at once. Two maybe, not three. <clears throat> Let's 
So this is perfect. This is nice. We can do this. man oh get a little close there that's a little bit of a cluster I don't want to pull all those guys let's get this guy down he's looking awfully lonely Another one over there. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we want to stitch that in favor of the linen cloth. Okay, let's go get this guy. <clears throat> Still no pause. It's kind of ridiculous. Hmm. All right, that's fine. We're gonna figure it out. Just gonna have to keep on killing them until they do drop their paws. <clears throat> one All right so we just need two more could be some more knolls over this way hopefully no one's farming them right now like this is where the farmers have been. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I wasn't going for your herb. If that group over there was farmed out, then this group over here is likely farmed out as well. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> I think I see one. Sort of thing out. Let's get this guy. Nice. Ooh, and a dagger. Let's dish the snout. Take the dagger. That'll be worth a couple silver. And just one more paw. Give me your paw, dude. Just give me one paw. I won't have to keep farming you guys. I can leave you be in peace. Oh, I see you've chose chosen violence this day. Ah, two, three. Let's let him come in and grab one of them. Take this one. <clears throat> Good. Go 
a pie. Unfortunate. Okay, well, let's hop back over to the other side then, I guess. A little bit further in. It's fine. I'm willing to make the sacrifice for pause. <clears throat> so he uh, he over pulled. You in there, dude. <clears throat> Wanna take on this group? if we can survive all three of those. All right, cool. Got our paw. Is he going to make it? Yeah, I think he's going to make it. So that's all done. Now the only other quest we have in this zone at the moment that I'm willing to take on is the um, is the Harvest Watchers. Let's see if I can get this note over here. Yarn ball dead. Level 12 unlock, move on. little mage. Appreciate the buff. I, think I should be able to get to it if, it if it's even up here. It isn't. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a hidden node. I hate when that happens. Hardcore, dead, level 19 in Ashenvale. Interesting. You don't get a, lot, a whole lot of Ashenvale deaths. I think that's because most people don't stick it out in Ashenvale. Hey, you. Come here. We've got fighting to do. There's no one near me. Swing, swing the paladin, level 35, dead in Strength of Thorn Vale. That sucks. That's a lot of time spent on one character. Especially in classic. Heal up. That's one Harvest Watcher dead. Two time the Hunter dead. Level 13 in Westfall. Right here. Right here in town. There's a local boy. 
Westfall is straight up committing genocide today. This way. Should be able to pick off this guy over here in the corner. You see, see how far away he, he gathered us? That is a humongous aggro radius. He's gonna get that guy. Oh no, no, looks like he turned away. Adez, level 28 warlock, died in Stormwind City. He must have uh, taken fall damage or something. Oh, he was mugged. <laughs> how that happened. That's pretty funny, though. Oh, got another one just respawn back here. He got shivved. <laughs> Everyone's uh, speculating how that guy died in Stormwind of all places. Let's uh, stop a moment for a drink. Replenish our mana. Okay. Oh, there's one right there. Let's go and grab this guy. Respawns are uh, at a pretty decent rate right now. Like, not too fast. Six. <clears throat> I need to go find a vendor. Sell this crap I'm holding. Miss on the last swing. <laughs> Definitely will miss on the last swing twice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think she's going after that respawn. We're not going to catch that. So let's go over to the uh, Saldine farm real quick. We'll turn in the uh, Westfall stew and vendor the rest of our junk. Been a pretty fruitful uh, little session here. Getting a lot of shit done. Right, let's turn this in. That ochre will thicken this broth nicely. Now we just add the stringy vulture meat, a few murloc eyes, and those delicious gore tusk snouts. And we're done! For all your help, Sacker, I want you to take today's first batch of Westfall stew. 
clear some inventory first. Here, let's go over here. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that, 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 and that. Oh, made four silver off that. Nice. Okay. Now let's turn in. And let's learn how to make West Fall stew. That's ready leather pants. Okay. So that's all turned in, so we can sell everything that we don't need now. Without having to worry about it being a quest item. That's null pause. Uh, let me see here. Uh, coyote steaks is green. But you know what? It's, uh, it's buff food though, so we might as well. Let's just go ahead and cook them up real quick. We get a small chance of making some uh, skill ups, and we get buff food out of it. Single skill up off this? Hey, we got one skill up. Nice. Bitch and ye shall receive. There we go. Alright, now we can sell the rest. So let's see here. We don't need the sharp kitchen knife or the carving knife of power. Sell the oven mitts. Sell the stick. We'll keep the Westfall stew. Sell the gore tusk. Sell all these. Let's see here. Sell the extra okra. Keep the militia buckler. Let's move that up there so we're less inclined to, to uh, sell it. Okay, that's all that. Uh, we'll worry about the linen a little bit later. Right now I want to focus on getting rid of the rest of these um, harvest watchers. Nice that the watches aren't too terribly tough. Stop walking behind me, dude. Hey, <laughs> nice. Level up. Let's go ahead and select our next talent. So we have Improved Seal of the Righteous, increases damage done by your Seal of the Righteousness and Judgment of Righteousness by up to 15%. Or we can take Spiritual Focus, which is really the reason why we're in the Holy Tree. This gives your Flash of Light and Holy Light spells a 14% chance to not lose casting time when you take damage. We'll definitely take that. And next rank is 28%. Being able to cast our heals effectively and with minimal pushback is a very good thing. It could mean the difference between living and re-rolling. Don't you resist me? Don't you know I'm irresistible? There we go. Got him. Alright, got that. So we're at level 15 now. Look at that. And we haven't even, like, diverted off to, like, the Dwarven Lens yet. Like, typically we will, um, uh, jump around from, uh, zone to zone to, like, maximize XP gains, but I really haven't had to with this character. I think it's because I've been focusing a lot on, um, grinding out my professions, and in doing so I've gotten a lot of extra experience points just from killing mobs. This guy over here. Nice parry. Man, we really need a better weapon. <laughs> this is not cutting it. <laughs> Imagine trying to beat up these big things with a fucking pool cue. This is basically what I'm using. I 
it reminds me of that episode, that movie, uh, Shaun of the Dead, the scene where they're in the bar, just whacking the bar, the zombie bartender. Be afraid to just use your st stuns if you got them. Just going after that guy. All right, so we need—we still need to kill eight more of these watchers. Archmage MTV, the mage has died at level five. Level five. I'm very curious how people die at level five. All this shit that I'm talking, it's just gonna lead to my untimely demise. These two guys have already got someone. Oop, I think I see a respawn right over here. What's that? That's copper. I need to find some tin veins. I've got plenty of copper, I need tin. Nice distance between us and everybody else. Umfnal the Paladin has died at level 55 in Winter Spring. Holy hell. That is a very un unfortunate demise. He, he almost finished his run, he was level 55. sucks I mean you, you can't even talk trash about that that was a level 55 death man I didn't know there were murlocs in winter spring <laughs> oh, that's hilarious Shit. All right, let's go ahead and have ourselves a sit down. Need to replenish our mana. There we go. If you can't see him with suicide, oh my god, you guys are awful. <laughs> See anyone else out here just see oh Just had to turn around real quick. Oh, I'm really enjoying this character. I was gonna say. I think this will be like the character that I take to max level. Provided I don't die, of course. Look, baby. We need four more. Let's 
get your head on a swivel here. Make sure we're not going to get any other respawns on top of us. Gotcha. Ooh, what's that? It's green male, three strength, two stamina. That's that's very good. Hell yeah, we'll equip that. Nice. Oh, that guy was already engaged. Anybody want to respawn? No? Alright, let's go head up the uh the Saldine farm again. There is just as uh just as camped out. So I have a rogue and I have a paladin. If I were to play a another character, it would likely be like a ranged caster. So it'd either be a priest, a warlock, or a um, or a mage. Uh, which to play those the question I think I'll probably end up going with the mage just because I know mage so well and it's what I played in the original classic but I don't really want to think too much about like re-rolling or anything or like making another alt I want to actually like, actually focus on a character for a little bit I wonder if I if you were to, to like make an alt like, what would your philosophy be? Like, would you be like, you want to do something that's similar to what you're already doing, so like the muscle memory is kind of the same? Or would you want to like do something completely different just to give yourself a completely different perspective? I think I would go for a different perspective. All right, here we go, last one. Let's heal up real quick. Alright, that's the quest done. Perfect. Ooh, what's that? Is that just... That's leather. Never mind. Forget about it. This is a fun quest. It's just smash and grab. That's it. Easy mode. Let's turn this in. We'll be done with it. Oh, that's right. We get an item. So, cloth chest or leather pants? We'll go with the leather pants. Higher armor class usually sells for more. Let's see. And let's turn around and sell it right back to them. Got three silver right there. Boom. Done. Another three. Sell that, sell that. Sell that. Uh, keep the oil, because the oil is a quest turn in that we need to give to the lighthouse later on. But we're not going to go out that way till like we're like level nineteen twenty. Little hidden quest out on the uh, out on the the Murloc coast. So there, there's a lighthouse out there that's manned by a ghost, and he needs oil uh, for his his lighthouse. So we're going to head on back into Sentinel Hill. We're going to turn in this last quest we have. And then I think we're going to call it a night. But it is getting close to my bedtime and I need to be ready for work in the morning. Have you collected eight paws from those treacherous knolls yet? Well done! With valiant adventurers such as yourself fighting alongside the people's militia, Westfall might just return to the prosperous bread basket it once was. Please, accept this in recognition of your tireless efforts. 
There's a male belt or cloth. We'll take the male belt. It will sell better. Okay, so it looks so good. Our quest we have Elwyn Forest has Hogger. We could probably go back and do that. What should we, though, is the question. What are the rewards? Uh, Stormwind Guard Leggings gives three strength and 113 armor. Ours is better, actually. We have 113 armor and two strength, two stamina. Uh, Balance Fighting Stick is 8.9. That's, we can't even equip that. Paladins can't equip staves. Uh, and a leather tunic. Yeah, so honestly, we don't need to do this quest. So we'll just abandon that. Uh, we have Humble Beginnings, Stormpike's Delivery for Stormwind, and for Westfall we have the People's Militia, which is the next part, and the Defias Brotherhood. We're going to wait a while before we do People's Brotherhood, People's Militia, because the Pillagers are the mages, and I want to, um, I want to have a level advantage on them, because they can just straight up kill us if we're not uh, paying attention. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to, off camera, work a little bit more on my professions, get those a little more up to date. And then we're going to head over to Loch Modan and work on some quests over there. And that is what we will do tomorrow. But for tonight, uh, I'll say that's going to be it. i got no nothing else going on. I'm going to go um, finish a meal and uh, get ready for bed. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out.